His walk daily until the end times and right before things get bad, we're out of here. We're going home. Everyone else is going to be left here to deal with everything we're reading about in the Bible. Dark days, dark nights, no stars, storms, anguish, destruction. Okay? Don't wait, folks. I love you too much to let you walk out of here today and, and still be on the fence about whether or not you have saved yourself. Repent. You got Romans up there? There it is. We're going to say this little prayer. Okay? I want you to say it with me. And it, when it's all said and done, we're going to flip this light on a baptismal. And if anybody wants to take that public obedience and come, come cleanse themselves, it's open. The water's good. Okay? You don't have to do that to be saved. But you do need to say this prayer with me in order to be saved. Okay? Let's, let's, read, let's read Romans first. If you openly declare that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. It's that simple. It's that simple. The real work comes after the prayer. Unfortunately, we're human. Unfortunately, we have a hard time turning and running from our sin like we're supposed to. It happens. I'm a sinner. I made that announcement last week and made it before. And I'll make it again today. I'm a sinner. Okay? I judged two, three, four, five, six. I've only got nine fingers, so we'll just stop at nine, nine times yesterday. Okay? It doesn't mean that I'm going to hell. It just means that when I recognize I'm doing something wrong, I need to ask for forgiveness. I need to repent hourly, sometimes daily. Okay? It's not, it, the work's not over when you walk out the double door today. Whether you just say the prayer or whether you say the prayer and you get in the baptismal. The work doesn't stop here at Sawgrass Cowboy Church. It doesn't stop at Jasper County, Chocolate Bayou, First Baptist, Our Lady of Lords. It doesn't stop when you leave the church. It begins when you leave the church. Because ladies and gentlemen, we can all be good in here. Everybody's being good right now. Ain't nobody poking or fighting or biting. Nobody's talking. Harlan, you still awake? Harlan's still awake? <laughs> we can be good inside the church. It's when we go outside and we get with our buddies. We get with our family. We go to that barbecue after church to sit around and watch a football game. We decide to throw a few too many back. We start cussing. We get in a fight with our cousin because he's an idiot. That's just my family. I don't know about y'all. I'm just saying, the work's not in here. It's out there. It's in your life, your daily life, your home. How many people need God in their house right now? Everybody. Everybody. I'm not asking you to raise your hands because the answer is everybody. If you, don't have a, if you don't have a cross over your door or somewhere in your house, you need to run out and buy two or three or find some sticks on the way home and make one. You need God in your house. Okay? You need God in your life. And it's, you know, it's so easy uh, for some people just to say, yeah, you're right, Brother Kevin, but you don't know my life. I don't need to know your life. I don't. i got my own problems. Okay? i got my own problems. But who do, does need to know your life? God. And He knows every inch of it. He's just waiting for you to allow Him in. Open go. the door, folks. Repent. Hit your knees. Let's say this prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we humbly come before Your throne today. Father, we want to we take notice of the false prophets, Father. We want to we want to recognize, we want to be well versed in your word to know when there's a false prophet near us, in front of us. Father, we just want to be able to have that discernment so that we can tell when someone is leading us astray. Father, we want to take the steps today, Father, because we just read in your word that no one, not even Jesus knows when he's coming back. Only you know, Father. And your word tells us that we must be prepared 
We must be on the lookout. Father, we want to take that first step today. We want to repent of our sins. We want to turn and run from those things. And if we can't get away, Father, we just want to understand that when we do sin, we need to repent again. We need to repent daily, monthly, hourly, every second. Whatever it is that our life needs, Father, we need to be there in that area so that we can receive our salvation. Father, I come to you today and, and your word tells me that if I admit with, uh, speak with my mouth that Jesus, Lord is my, uh, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, Father, and I believe that in my heart that you raised him from the dead, I can be saved. I need to be saved today, Father, because I don't know what tomorrow holds. So I come to you today, Father, humbly, and I, and I announce that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, and I believe in my heart that you raised Him from the dead three days later. Father, I want to accept my salvation. I want to step out of these doors today, Father, and I want to be the Christian that you need me to be. I want to further your kingdom. I want to better your kingdom. And I know it's going to be a struggle, Father. I know it's going to be difficult times. But I know I can always, always turn to your word. I know that there are people in this church, family in this church, that I can call, that I can go to, and they can lift me up, and they can put me back on the straight and narrow. They can get me back on the right road to the narrow gate. Father, I just ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. If there's anybody here today that said that prayer, please, please, elders, lay pastors, y'all stand up right quick. We've got some new folks in here that, that don't really know where everybody is. There's my two elders right here in the front. All my lay pastors are back there in the back. Please, don't leave without letting one of us pray for you and pray with you. Okay? If you said that prayer today, that is huge. Huge. And that's why I do what I do here. Because that's how much I love you. I don't want you not to be prepared. I want you to be ready. I want you to be on the lookout. Okay? Is there anybody here that wants to take the public step of baptism today? Don't even raise your hand. Just come on up. We got towels. We got cold water. We're good to go. And trust me, it's cold. Come on, brother. You're going to make me cry. You know that, right? right here. Alright. Let me tell you, you got your phone out? Alright. You got money in your wallet? I'll hold that for you. <laughs> Parking lot funds going up. Step on in there. Go ahead, take your dip out. That ain't good. That, that's, whoop. That'd mess a day up right there. Sit on that. Matthew Maples, if you accept that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you promise to walk out of this bathtub today and live your life according to Christ. Keep, that, keep this way up there. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. I love you, brother. I love you. Amen.
Anybody else? Water good. <laughs> you know, I don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, get the kids. I don't. Uh, I don't cry very often. <laughs> Some of that might have come off of me, Philip. Watch out what you're saying. That, uh, that young man right there has been a part of my life for a very, very long time. And uh, I am so blessed to be part of that. And Matthew, life just changed, brother. You're a new man. Anybody else? Let me pray with you. Most gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for Matthew. Father, he's a child of God now. He's yours. Lead him, guide him, love him. Let him never forget where you belong, where he belongs. Father, I just come to you today and then I just want to thank you, Father. I'll thank you for this family, for this church. And that's what we are, Father, as a family. We're a one big family under your house. And we're all here for one thing, Father, and that's to glorify you. Everything we do, Father, we want Jesus to shine. Father, if we ever step out of line, if we ever not put Jesus first, Father, I pray that you just smack us right in the backside and put us back on the narrow path. Father, I pray for each and every person here today that, that said that prayer with us out of Romans, Father, that they walk out those double doors today and they realize we don't know what lays in store. We don't know when the end times are coming. But if they accepted Jesus into their heart and they believe that you raised him from the dead, they have that salvation. And they just need to live their life running from their sin. Father, we're not perfect. <coughs> we're humans we're all sinners and just because we say that prayer doesn't make us not a sinner it just means that when we do sin we know we have to ask for forgiveness immediately we don't just continue to let it grow and boil we don't, we don't let that sin continue to build a fire in our hearts Father we love you we praise you we thank you so much for Jesus it's in His holy and precious name we pray. Amen. One quick announcement. No leadership meeting today. Uh, no leadership meeting today. We've met every Sunday this month, so we're, we're going to cancel today. If, on the hitch and post, we have our membership, our member role. Please, on your way out, it's going to create a little bit of a log jam, so everybody just mingle, fellowship, love on one another. Uh, but please go through the roll and make sure your name is on the list. If it is not, please walk over to the office and let Rindy know because we do have a vote next weekend and I want to make sure that everyone that's on the roll is here to vote, okay? Uh, come on, kids. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. And uh, we will see y'all Wednesday night for Bible study. See you tonight.